there is a major problem in international banking, which is called the diabolic loop. Some banks a very significant investment in domestic government bonds. An economic slowdown in countries such as Greece or Italy increases sovereign risk, reducing the value of the bonds held by banks. Due to reduced solvency, these banks cut back on lending, triggering a reduction in economic activity and tax revenues. So the diabolic loop is the linkage between government through banking and then back to government, and potentially creating a major financial crisis in the country. So a very important question is, why is it that banks are buying so much of their domestic country bonds? Uh, I've been talking myself to chief risk officer of banks, and every time I ask them, uh, why do you buy so much of your local domestic bonds? And the answer is always the same, because they offer higher return. And therefore, indeed, it's unfair gambling, because the shareholders will get the high interest on the bonds if things go well, and if things go poorly, losses will be bared by government or eventually the IMF of the European Union. There are three proposed ways to deal with this problem. One is to come up with regulation to limit holding of government bonds. The second proposal, instead of having a bank bank only local government bonds, they will invest in a portfolio of bonds of different countries. The third option, which I prefer, is to decide to cut completely the linkage between the state and the banks. We will make banking a normal industry. You take risk, well, you bear the cost. And when I say you, these are the shareholders, the bondholders, the creditors. But the idea is to cut the link between government and the banks.